Here we are in Learn, and we are going to start adding lessons and modules to this course, which is super exciting. So under our courses, I have three of them here, and we're going to work on the how to create and sell online courses with Thrivecarp. So we're going to hit edit, and then you are going to see your create module. So you can either create module, hit this button here, or just drag and drop. You're going to see this blue create module lesson here. So we're going to click that. And then here you're going to write your module name. So I am going to write creating your first product on Thrive Car. That's going to be my module name. Now I'm going to drag a lesson in. And the lesson is going to be how to add modules and lessons in Thrive Car. I'm going to copy the lesson name and create my lesson. Okay, so now we have our module and then our lesson here. And I'm going to hit edit. Now it's going to automatically update this for module creating your first product in Thrivecart. And then this is the title. So I like to paste the title here. Paste. And then he, if you want to go even deeper into Thrivecart, I have a free course that walks you through Thrivecart, setting up Thrivecart, all the ins and outs of Thrivecart. It's a over the shoulder type of view where you can see exactly what I'm doing click by click. And I also have modules on things like pricing a course, how to come up with your course topic, how to market a course, how to get beta testers in a course. It goes to the ins and outs of setting up a course, launching a course. And like I said, it is completely free. So definitely check it out down below in the description. Here is a text box that is automatically applied. Now with this text box, I'm going to move me over here. You can change the font. There's all these different fonts here. You can try change the font size, however big or small you want it. You can change the line height. So if you want it closer or farther, farther apart and the letter spacing and the casing, if you want uppercase, lowercase, capitalize, all of that, as well as the text color. And then display context box around text or background color transparency you can change as well. And if you don't want a text box here, you can just hover in it. Don't click it, but just hover. And then you can hit the, the little delete element. Or if you want to duplicate it, you can duplicate it as well. So we're going to delete this and then delete this. Okay, now we have all these elements over here on the left. So we can add a heading, text box, image, video, bullets, divider, FAQs, HTML, context box, columns, buttons, or download. And a quiz is coming soon, which is awesome. So then we also have course options of text styling, sidebar, spacing, default, course navigator. We can change all of these things on the left as well. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add a video. So I'm gonna drag and drop a video. Now with Thrivecart, you have to embed the video. Thrivecart will not host any of your videos. You need a third party site to host your videos. So you can use YouTube, you can use Vimeo, anything like that. And I'm gonna show you how to do that on both platforms. So first I'm gonna show you how to do it on YouTube. And so say I want to add this Q&A call. So this is a Q&A call with my membership. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the actual video. It's not going to be in the YouTube Creator Studio, but the actual video. I'm going to click on the video link. I'm going to pause this so we don't have audio here. Then what you're going to do is hit share in this embed code. And it's going to start at zero. And then you can copy this. I like to remove the player controls and copy it that way. And then what we're gonna do is see this where it says enter your embedded code. We're just gonna paste that and hit done. So now it is gonna be embedded in the video. Now, if I wanna do this on Vimeo, I'm gonna do it the same way. I'm gonna drag in another video element. Then I'm gonna go over to uh, Vimeo and I'm going to go to this video here. This is from another course that I have. I'm gonna hit embed and copy embed code. Then I'm gonna enter your embed code and just paste it and hit done. Now, if I go to publish and then I go to preview, 
you're going to see the two videos here and you're going to be able to play them. Now, if you have a thumbnail on YouTube or a thumbnail on Vimeo, that's what they're going to see. So if you don't have a thumbnail, it's going to look like this, just a freeze frame. It's probably going to be an awkward freeze frame, like an awkward face like this, or you can just create something super simple in Canva, which is what I did here. Now, if you want, you can have other options within the video as well. So we can have the video as bigger. We can have it with a text box on this on the side. Um, you can do the text box on the right. You can do the text box on the other side or the text box below or two videos next to each other or three videos next to each other as well. I personally like to do the video below and then I like to have any text above it because I want to make sure that they see the text. So if I have any related links to it or any bullet points that I'm doing or anything like that, I like to have it above the video to make sure that they don't miss it when they're scrolling. So we can add video notes and links here. And then if you want, you can add bullet points. So we can have point number one, point number two. You can also do links here. So if I wanted to say, I wanted to just link out this video directly and not embed it, or if you had an affiliate link or something like that, then I would just highlight it. And then you're going to hit the little link and paste the URL and hit okay. And then it's got automatically change it to blue. Now, if you do have affiliate links, you want to make sure you put your affiliate link disclosure um, put it under here. I do have a link for you of a legal guide. If you want to, well, if not, if you want to, but make sure you are legally doing everything co correct. I will have a legal guide for you linked with this video as well. You'll probably see it right here and I will have that for you. Okay. Now, if you want to do a image, you can upload images right to Thrivecart like we did on the sales page. So say I wanted to put this testimonial in here, I'm gonna click it and then hit use image. And then it's gonna embed the image. Now that's pretty big. So maybe I want to make it a little bit smaller or I can do left or right, or I can do a second image as well or duplicate the image. Or if I wanna change this one to, let's say a different testimonial, I can do that. So now we have two back to back and we can make these a little bit bigger. Next, you can add a divider and all of this is just drag and drop. You can play around with these, which is super fun. You can add a FAQ section just like you did on the sales page. So you can do that and you can add your questions right here with a little drop down, which is awesome. You can add a context box. You can add downloads as well, which is awesome. But like downloads, you need to host the actual download somewhere else. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So file name here. So um, say I'm going to have a Excel template for them. So I'm going to do the Excel template. And then you can change the download as well. And then here you have to enter the URL to the download. So I personally host mine on my website. So say I want to do this download here, then here's the download that I've added to my website. And then I'm just going to copy the URL and then hit done. So now the download is available for them. So if I go to publish and then I go to preview, then here's everything that you can see. Now this looks super sloppy because I'm just showing you different elements that you can add, but here is the bullet point. So that link will link out to this video here. We can have the affiliate link disclosure. This is the divider that we added. Here's the template. So we can hit the download button and it's going to go to their downloads and it is a Excel budget template for them. We have the videos that they can watch here and you can see it one without the thumbnail and one with the thumbnail. Now we can hit publish and now we can add another lesson and we can just drag and drop. And this is going to be lesson number two and create my lesson. And then you're going to do the exact same thing. And I like to change this right here to the lesson title, lesson number two, and then you can add in all of your elements. So then we're going to go hit publish. Then if you want another module, so then we can add another module And this module can be launching your product and create. Now we can add a lesson. And this can be 
let's see, um, how to set up affiliates. And I'm gonna hit copy, and create my lesson. And then under edit, I'm gonna change the lesson here. And then I'm gonna hit publish. Okay, now I wanna show you what it's looking like. So we hit preview. And this is what, right here is what your students are gonna see. So they're gonna see here on the left, their progress bar. And then you can see creating your first product and launching your product. Here are the two modules that we have. So here is module one. And then here is lesson one and then lesson two. So we can see module creating your first product. So that matches here. And then lesson number two title. Then under launching your pro product, this module, See how module changes and now it says launching your product and then we have the title set up here and then you can they can hit continue as well so as they're watching once they finish this lesson whether it be text-based lesson or video or whatever it is they can hit continue and then it's going to bring them to the next lesson in the next module the next step is setting up if you want to drip out your content or have it live right away and i'm going to walk you through step by step how to do that in this video here <laughs>